Hi there and welcome. I'm Danielle Lynn. And if you're not familiar with me, I host a program called The Art of Being and Science of Life, which is an encompassing of everything you could do to improve everything you want to do in life that makes you happy and healthy and fulfilled. And today we're talking with Dr. Fred Pescatori. Uh, he is a best-selling author and has a thriving practice in New York City. And, and Dr. Pescatori, I know we don't have a lot of time today, but I, there is a really important study that was just released that is ADHD. And if, if people aren't familiar with it, I'd love you to explain what the acronym is um, and, and what they found out. Sure. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and it's extremely common. The symptoms are, the symptoms are difficulty staying focused, paying attention, difficulty controlling behavior, and just too much activity, hyperactivity. The word says, speaks for itself. And millions, millions and millions of children suffer from this. Um, you have to, I mean, the numbers are staggering. A number of kids who are being frustrated, um, trying to keep their school performance and self-esteem working for them. And um, it's really difficult because the only real option right now is pharmaceutical medication, which can sometimes have common side effects. And the side effects for the medication, which is methylphenidate, one of the medications, would be loss of appetite and um, weight loss. And that's concerning for, for parents. So when they did the study, who was involved with it? Like, how did they, how did they know and how did they document it? Well, they found, um, they did it on children um, ages 6 to 12 for 10 weeks. Uh, the participants were split into three groups, one taking pycnogenol, one taking placebo, and the other taking the methylphenidate, which is the pharmaceutical. And so they were given a certain amount of pycnogenol per day, depending on their, on their weight. And then teachers and parents filled out various questionnaires at baseline, and after five weeks and after 10 weeks, including the ADHD rating scale, which assesses nine inattention and nine hyperactivity impulsivity items. So that's really what they use. You know, some of the criteria in there looked at difficulty following instructions, difficulty organizing tasks and activities, fidgeting, squirming, interrupting, or intruding upon others. Explain pycnogenol, where it comes from, so that somebody understands being a natural alternative. French maritime pine tree bark extract. So it's completely 100% natural. And what the study did show was that um, the, those on the medication had five times more adverse effects than those who supplemented with the pycnogenol. And specifically the loss of appetite and unwanted weight loss was observed, not with pycnogenol, only on the pharmaceutical medication. So it's really nice for uh, parents to have a, um, a natural alternative to this. And it's nice for the children because it's a natural supplement. And when it's a natural supplement, they're not on a prescription and they're able to take it with their food and it becomes part of their lifestyle rather than, you know, over here that you're on a drug. Uh, and no side effects. That was the big thing, I think, that uh, when I was reading the study. Yep, absolutely. We like that. Yeah. And, and without part, side effects. Finding out more information, if somebody wanted to read the study, they want to find Pycnogenol, talk about that for a minute. Pycnogenol.com. And they can find the study there and you can also find resources. There's lots of, new, there's lots of information on that website and Pycnogenol can pretty much be found in any, anywhere you buy nutritional supplements. That's great. All right, well, we're out of time and it's been wonderful and thank you. And I know they're keeping going on more of the studies. So you'll come back again and be with us and let us know what's up. Okay? My pleasure. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. I'm Danielle Lynn. We'll see you next time.